Chiefs Chargers. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Loved the way Justin Herbert played. I know that the Chiefs won the game. Incredible finish by Butker. I mean, just to hit three in a row. Uh, it's that's insane. A, I mean, what a pro. Yeah. But let's start with Justin Herbert. I have some thoughts on the way it happened unexpectedly, him getting that first start. Uh, but I'd like to hit you first on on how it started for him, yeah. the surprise element to it. Tyrod Taylor was supposed to play. Um, so what do you think of how it began? Oh, I mean, first off, I can't even imagine. You're, you're just sitting there thinking like, okay, hey, where's the gum? And where's my clipboard <laughs> where's my hat? and my hat? And yeah. let me listen to the plays and see if I can learn what's going on out here and help out Tyrod in the offense. And all of a sudden, I mean, the way it's explained by Anthony Lynn and Herbert is it's like they're lining up for the kickoff. And they're going, hey, he's going, hey, you're going to start today. <laughs> And I think Anthony Lynn, I heard the comment last night as I was kind of falling asleep. Like, he said something like, I think he thought I was joking when I first yeah. said it. And uh, either way. I think it's great. It is great. I think it's good for two reasons. Yeah, go okay? ahead. Number one. Yeah. And we talked, and I, I think it's fun when these guys who we both liked a lot, you had him as your number two quarterback. Right. Bro, I think, and yeah. a lot of people did not. Mm -hmm. It's fun to see them succeed early. Yeah. And, but – there are two things that I see that they can really get in the way of these really talented but inexperienced young quarterbacks. Yeah. Their own angst that can kind of build sure. up during the week. Like you're great at practice, you get home, you're like, holy shit, I'm starting in the NFL yeah, tonight. No doubt. And they have that the whole week. Right. That was removed right. accidentally. Yeah. But that's out the window. You're right. It's a good point. Number two, something else that can constrain that talent and kind of kind of put it in a bad place is an offensive coordinator and a head coach who get together during the week and say, Let's get them off to a good start. Yeah. Let's be kind of conservative, okay? Right. Don't let them cut it loose down the field. Well, they already had the game plan, yeah. so they can't do that. So just, I mean, accidentally, again, those two things that can really kind of keep the talent at bay for a young quarterback, right. they were done. Yeah. I, I, it, the, the thing you talk about, the week of angst, is very interesting. For the QB and the coach. No doubt, and it does. You know, during the week, especially I felt like in my first few starts, I never thought about it. And then Friday, you'd have that early practice. I'd get home. I'd eat dinner. I'd be sitting on the couch. It'd By be like yourself. 7.30, right. And I'd be like, oh, shit. We're getting close this to game time me. here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm right. starting quarterback We lost in the my NFL. first start last week, and I might never start again if we don't win this week. What if I can't take a snap? I better, what yeah. If? I mean, there's no doubt. So that is out the window. I don't think the, the guy, first off, played really well, mm -hmm. considering the circumstances, and was unfazed by the moment. And really, other than one play, was very smart throughout the game. And I'll get to that in a second, that one play. But just as far as you're talking about the, the first drive, I mean, we saw it all. Yeah, poise, big-time arm. We saw him run for the touchdown. He was tested one time on an all-out blitz because I think Spagnuolo's going, this rookie's not going to know where to go when I send all these people. He won Throws the ball in the right place there. So really efficient on the first drive. I mean, big picture is the first throw I saw of the game, I went, whoa, because you can barely see the ball on the film. I mean, he has a missile mm -hmm. for an arm, and he does it with ease. And I saw throws throughout the day where you just go, that's like, that's Mahomes or Kyler Murray type crap there. Like, you're not supposed to throw that. What was your favorite one? I, I don't know if it's the touchdown in the back left corner. That was great. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Where the corner, his, he's doing his job the right way. He's supposed to midpoint the seam route mm -hmm. and the guy on the outside of him. And I think he's sitting there going, well, this guy's not Patrick Mahomes. He's not going to be able to throw some laser out here like this. And all of a sudden he, he was, uh, and you can even see his reaction. Like, he was like, whoa, that ball went <laughs> fast by me. Yeah. So that, he threw another throw. I want to say on the same drive down the middle to Keenan Allen um, into really tight coverage. But, yes, I, I don't know how you couldn't be impressed with what you saw from him yesterday. And not an easy defense to play. Kansas City does a lot of different stuff. They game plan, and they throw a lot of different looks at you that way to where it's not easy for a rookie. And I thought they called the game the right way, and, of course, he played well, too. So a little bit of feedback here right. from social. At Danny Phantom says, you were right about Herbert, Chris. He looks amazing. Those are all caps. There's no exclamation point, but you get the, you yeah, get the point. I got it. little got pat it. on the back. Yep. As for Patrick Mahomes, yeah. and this is an interesting, different type of game for him and the offense. Sergeant Quack says, Chris, I'd love to know why Mahomes had the worst game of his career. Yeah, yeah. Well, you want to go over to that side of the ball? You want to hit that now? He might as well, right? I don't think we have anything more unless you want to hit anything more in the Chiefs uh, charge if, Chiefs D. I'm good to move. I'm good yeah, to move to this side. It. Yeah, let's do it. So, 
So I don't think he had the worst game of his career, but I, I think that that starts you off on kind of the right point. No, it's, that this person is saying, why did Mahomes struggle? It's one of the ugliest games of his career, and now what we'll get into it. It's not. It's not because of him. Okay. Do I think he was a hair off early on in the game and maybe there was a few throws where I went, oh, I mean, Mahomes usually hits that and yet it was a little low at the knees or things like that? Yeah, okay. But this is a scheme they have trouble with. And what is that? It's the Seattle scheme. The, this old, is, the old or the new scheme? It's the, ad, the old one. The old, the old one. Scheme. This is, the, this is 20, we're down 20 to 10 in the fourth quarter to the 49ers. You know, we lose at home two years ago on a Thursday night to the Chargers. It's the same issue. The Chargers last year in Mexico City. It was the same game. What's it was, that scheme? Uh, the uh, Cliff Notes run, version. Rush four, drop seven, okay. don't let up a big play. Right. And Why does that give them a hard time? Because they're always looking for the big play. Mm. That's their biggest problem. And last year, Paul, I don't know if we were doing the pod together during this time, but they played each other on a Monday night game in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. And they struggled the same exact way. And then late in the game, he found the, the magic and figured out what to do. And it's the same type of thing. They, they, they have to find more ways. One, they need to find more ways to attack this scheme because the scheme is a little bit of their kryptonite. And again, this is going to be a continuing theme. We saw it a little in week one, but in a different way where teams are just going to play them and go, we're not going to give Copy you a big Copycat league. I mean, of course. Yeah, we're going to get back. We're going to get back. And a little context here. I mean, yeah. four of their first five drives ended with a punt. Yeah. It yeah. happens to other teams. It doesn't happen to the Chiefs. They couldn't get anything going. And then, you know, as we've talked about, you know, oh, cross, post, in cut, all these deep throws. Well, they have a great front four. They have three first rounders on their front four. And, and though all three of them, Tillery, Bosa, mm -hmm. and Ingram, can rush the quarterback. The Chiefs offensive line lost the battle in the game yesterday. And then when you continually call those type of plays that are down the field, down the field, and it's a zone coverage and they're dropping to areas, it, it just it doesn't match up. What adjustments should they make then? Because, I mean, as we both know and just said, there's going to be more of that coming because everybody's watching. Yeah, and last year, this was the jumping off point that Mexico City to where they started to expand their underneath attack a little bit. And I don't know why we didn't see more of it yesterday, but they really got to do their due diligence on this. I mean, one, they could end up playing Seattle in the Super Bowl. That's who I picked to play. I mean, so you might see a lot of these type of schemes. Could see San Francisco again, whatever it may be. I th they got to go back to the like the lab and watch other teams who have had success against the against this scheme and do that because there's nothing schematically that changed in this football game. They won this game for one reason: Mahomes' ability to move. That's it. That's there's no other way. Because in the I'm just reading this here. They, they scored four drives in a row, and this is after five of the first six drives. Yeah, including the first one in the second half ended with a punt. Then they scored four in a row. Only right. one touchdown drive, but they were kicking field goals. So the scheme de defensively didn't change at all. They, they just started having a little bit more success, and you're saying it's because Mahomes is moving around better? It's all there is. There's nothing else I'm going to be able to sit here and tell you. They played this Seattle coverage for the better part of the day. The one good thing that Gus Bradley and them did is in a few big situations, they might have played man or threw in a blitz here and there, but very minute. I think it was like one or two all-out blitzes. They didn't blitz for the better part of the day because mm. they weren't going to leave Tyreek or somebody one-on-one -on -one downfield for a big shot or anything like that. No, the game was won because of his ability to scramble and run. Whatever you want to talk about. You want to talk about, you know, the game-tying drive, third and 20. Okay, to get 21 yards How about that? to go do that? Or do you want to talk about the first touchdown drive, the six-play, 95-yard uh, drive that – oh, no, no, the first touchdown drive that gave them six points, the 10-play, 73-yard drive that made it 7-6. Those – the two biggest plays on that drive were Mahomes scrambling and running. He made big runs. So he makes a big run there. They get the short field on the interception – uh, by Justin Herbert, which was his worst play of the day. Yeah, it was yeah. a second and two. He had the first down if he just ran it, and he tried to throw a ball across his body post route going yeah. the other way. So that was truly a rookie dumb mistake. Right. So that sets up the short field goal uh, for that. Then now you got 17-9. to nine. Think about the next one, the greatest throw we've seen this year, which is on the run, full speed, 55-yard right. laser. Mm -hmm. He's running out of the pocket to the right. That Let him do that. So there's that. 
and then you get into um, the last drive in overtime again and things like that. It's, I mean, the last drive and then into overtime, it's his running. Mm. I mean, it's, it's his movement. That's all there is to it. They didn't find any part of their scheme that they started to go, oh, wait, we found the answers. Here we go. Right. No. They just maybe called a few more underneath plays. I thought the underneath was good, too, because yeah. the, the, the one play yeah. you described, his best throw was phenomenal. I mean, it was, it was standard Patrick Mahomes. Right. He hit once or twice uh, a game, it seems like. But his numbers will tell you it was a lot more underneath. I mean, those Definitely. last four drives where they scored in all of them, 18 out of 25 for 222. Nice numbers, yeah, but not big explosive no. numbers like Shallow we normally cross see. Shallow cross the Tyree so kill. Th they adjusted yeah. a little bit, and kind right. of we're okay with that conservative style. I, 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 this, this to me, and, and we said this a little last year, but this will be the big thing for them going forward. That they just, they need to go to like, they need to watch New England versus the Atlanta Falcons in the 28-3 comeback. They need to watch New England versus Seattle in Super Bowl 49. They need to watch New England versus the Chargers a few years ago in the divisional playoff and steal some ideas about how to stress the scheme itself out. They just don't have enough plays that attack the scheme. You know, they just run their plays and attack. Mm -hmm. And then they just go, we're good enough and we'll protect and he'll make plays. But as you can see, I mean, they lived on the edge there yesterday yeah. where one bounce of the ball the wrong way and they're going to lose the football game. Right. And uh, I think that's the big thing. And I just want to make sure. But you're right. Some of those shallow crosses, he hits Kittle, uh, Kelsey over the middle a few times. Um, your, your favorite running back in the draft caught six balls. Caught six balls as well. That came active. in handy. Yeah. You know, didn't see much screen game stuff, which yeah. I was surprised about, which you would think you would see, especially with a – team that's dropping back that deep and then it has a front four that's as aggressive as that and I, I, while you're looking for yeah. for your your final notes on this game Tony made a comment Tony Romo made a comment I thought coming out of the break uh, or coming out of halftime where he said something about the front four of the Chargers is winning in a way that he thought the Chargers were going to win the game yeah and you, you kind of touched on that a little bit right but how good the Chargers defensive front is or was yesterday maybe that's the thing that people in the AFC West are going to look for. I, well, I think so. I think so. Now, listen, he's, yeah, he's lost to the Chiefs. You know, he lost to Seattle in Seattle two years ago. Yeah. You know, but, yeah, and then we saw what, you know, San Francisco did, but it is. It's, you're going to have a special front four to mess with this guy. Yeah. And they do. You know, we've saw Tillery in person at Notre Dame for years. He's an unbelievable yeah. interior pass rusher. Right. With those two freaks on the edge to go along with it. Mm -hmm. And now you got a Kenneth Murray who's a first-rounder at middle linebacker. You know, I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, they got pretty four good. four first rounders in their front seven, and then Linval jo Joseph is no, you know, no pushover either. But yeah, they controlled the game for the most part. They couldn't find a running game with, and that front did a great job there. And yeah, they were all over Mahomes and just making him uncomfortable in the first half to where they couldn't get anything going. The biggest thing they made the mistake with is they just lost their gap integrity a few times. And especially on the third and 20 to set up the field goal, that's third and 20 gets a 21-yard run. That was one of the few times all game they blitzed. They brought five, and, you know, it's just one of those things. Like, this is one guy, he's smart. You know, he's, he's got great recognition skills now. He knows how people want to defend him. So when he sees that drop-off like that, like, whoa, six or seven guys are going that deep, one of the first things that triggers in his mind now is, let me buy time or let me see if I can run if they're going to do that. And he was really effective and led their team in rushing yesterday. The big and is, and the Chiefs won. And the Chiefs won. The Chiefs found a way to win. They took yes. a really good shot from the Chargers. And, uh, that hurts. Two and oh. Chargers, pro Chargers outplayed them. Yeah, you know, exactly. They outplayed them. Yeah. But that's, that's life playing against Patrick Mahomes right now. When, when your 49ers offense, outplayed them too. Right? Yeah. Offense not at your best and you score four consecutive drives yes. in the game. I mean, that's, that's it's unreal. Kudos he's, to them. He's been down by 10 points or more the last five games in a row he's played. And they win every one pattern, of them. It's right? It's insane. Come back and win. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.